my grandpa told me that when he was in Cuba, he would see kids playing baseball everywhere with mitts made of cardboard and, and balls made of rocks wrapped in, in tape or rags. Did you have to wear the, the yellow star? Yes, yes. At that point, the United States government closed up all their borders. They didn't allow anybody in or out of the country. So we lived in Cuba for two years. My synagogue, they make every kid who has a bar mitzvah do a community service project along with it. I love baseball. I've played it for my whole life. Cuba saved my grandfather's life, and I wanted to repay a sort of debt. And what better way, thought my 12-year-old self, than to, to share something with the Cuban people that I care about, that they care about. I was wondering if you guys would be willing to donate any equipment to me. Bats, balls, mitts, hats. It's a country under sanctions by the United States. Uh -huh. We don't have open trade with them. You cannot send package to Cuba. U.S. Treasury. Sanction program summaries. Oy. I started to understand how complex the world was and how complex my project was. It's very hard for Americans actually to go to Cuba. They don't want you to go there. If you want to take a risk and do something that's outside of a licensed activity, as a lawyer, I can't advise you. It's my generation's job to, to mop up whatever you guys did. The more that I saw, the more I wondered how much I actually knew. I thought that naturally it should be easy because I was a boy and I wanted to do good. How hard could that be? Yeah.